Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video it's about the MVC3 uh, template, the basic template. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing in here, but this video it's about charts. Uh, it's really simple to use on your. You can add it to your web applications, MVC application. And here's a sample that I found, and it's really easy to use. So I'm gonna go through how I made this. So using the Google API for charts. So this is the end result. Now we'll see what you need to get that thing done. So the first thing that you need to do to follow this tutorial is to create a class. The class name is company. And there's three properties, expense, salary, and year. Uh, yes, okay. So once you have that done, this class, you can continue to step two. And step two is that you need to add the google.com JS API to your page where you're gonna be using your graph. That's step two. Step three is that you need to know, before you start this tutorial, you need to know how to use JavaScript. And of course, you need to understand how J query works or the syntax of it and I'm not going to explain jQuery on this video I'm just going to show you what you need to have on your code to get started so as you can see here the first line we're loading our core char from Google and so we can have it ready on call now there's a function here to draw the chart and as you can see there's a jQuery get to the home controller to this um, action which is get data now the controller is going to get back some JSON some data back to us oh my god okay stop bugging so once we get the data back we're gonna save it you know under <clears throat> we're gonna create a, a table here a data table we're gonna have three columns year salary and expense so this columns are coming we're going to be using remember that class the same class so those are the columns and years it's this sample has it as a string the year for some reason and as you can see here there's a basic loop on your data coming back from your uh, controller and you're adding an array a javascript array so we're adding a row. The option is just the title. There's more options you can add. And the last line, you're creating the, the area chart and you're passing here where you expect to be drawn. So we have here at the bottom a div with an ID of chart underscore div, basic CSS, inside this div and once you have the data in this chart div on this chart object then you draw based on what you had add on the loop above and you're adding options to it just a title so it's very simple this tutorial if you want to follow on now let me show you how the controller looks there's nothing here that i have added the index is nothing there. The about index, I'm not using that. But here we're gonna see where I'm getting the data. Remember in the client side, the JSON is, the jQuery is asking for get data action. So here's the action, get data, and we're returning a JSON, and we're returning a list of companies. And make sure you add this argument here because if not it's not going to allow you to get by default is it's not set to allow but with this option you allow it this patch to get data as you can see you're doing a get here right here so once this guy this function triggers it's going to create here a man right here you see a manual um, company list being added just fake 
but obviously here's where you will go to your uh, SQL database and pull the data to build your companies or the company list. But just to keep it simple, we add in here the data and we're returning a list of companies. So really simple. And obviously the next part is that then the then the JavaScript will take place. So simple to use using um, Google APIs for the charts. As you can see, there's a lot of things that's happening here when you move your mouse. There's nothing you need to do on this. Pretty cool. So make sure you visit the Google API website if you have any questions about this, uh, uh, the options and what else you can do. They have more different type of chart. This is not the only one. So make sure you Google it. Thank you for watching.